Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. But in this video, I'm gonna be using WRNM 382. because so we're gonna be talking about the TID radio, TDH5 GMRS radio, and we'll get to it right after this. In the box, you get two radios, two 1500 milliamp batteries, Unfortunately, you only get one belt clip, and it does screw into the back of the battery. You get a wrist strap, instruction manual, which is done in pretty good English, VIP service card, a quick start user guide, hand mic, programming cable, and what I like a lot about this radio is how you can charge it. It comes with a USB-A to dual USB-C, so you can charge both batteries at the same time from anywhere and you get an adapter so you can charge it from a 110 outlet. At the time of shooting this video, it's going for $78.88 on Amazon. As I said earlier, the instruction manual is written in pretty good English. No issues with it. You have all your usual tables for your CT, CSS, and DCS, and they give you a frequency guide on what your frequencies are, if it belongs to GMRS or FRS, and what your power rating can be on each one. And then it also gives you the usual, what each menu item does and what its number is. Let's take a look at the radio. You only get one knob on the top and that's strictly for power on and volume. This little light here tells you if you're receiving or transmitting. Transmitting is obviously red, you can hardly see that. Receive is green. On the left side of the radio, bottom button gives you the flashlight. Push it again, you get the flashing strobe light, and third time is off. The top small button here, that gets you your radio station. Yep, don't need any strikes from uh, YouTube. And then the middle large button, that's obviously your PTT. On the right side, you have your headphone and microphone, as well as the programming cable. Now one thing, when these are charging, the indicator is on the battery right here, since you can charge both these batteries with just the USB-C and you can charge them off the radio. Menu. In the menu section, you have 41 selections. Now this sink right here, what this does, if you notice right here, it says gives you A band and B band. Go to sync, turn it on, and it gives you the channel and that frequency for the same channel. The way I like to set this thing up, first thing I do, I turn the step down to 2.5 kilohertz. Then I find the, I turn the beep off. Then I go up to the voice. And this one doesn't give you like some of the Baofengs, we have English and Chinese. This one is either on or off and it's always English. And it's pretty much your usual Baofeng menu. Okay, channels one through channel seven, those are GMRS channels and they can be at the high power setting. As you can see, there's a little H up here. Channels eight through 14, that's shared with FRS. So the power has to be set to low and it cannot be changed, they're locked out that way, as are all the frequencies. Channels 15 through 22, the power again can be set to high. And then channels 23 to 30 are your pre-programmed repeater channels. And then from 31 to 54, those are the do-it-yourselves. You make changes, put in tones if you need them. You can change the memory name. Now this is for the quick start guide to help you get started with programming via the computer. It gives you the directions to go to. It's for Windows. 
Now they say you can either use their proprietary software or Chirp. I use a proprietary software which can be found at walkietalkiesoftware.com and I'll put a link to that in the description. Gives you all the instructions you need to quickly get it going. Now let's go over to the computer and see how it looks once it's all set up. Okay, once you get it all set up and hooked up, go ahead to the read section up here. Click OK. And this one reads pretty quick. And it gives you the basic radio information, what frequency ranges it is, which is a 462 to 467 for the GMRS, and then the scan frequency range, which is 2 meter and 440. Click on channel, brings up all the frequencies that are already input. If you notice, these are all grayed out. You can't change them. You can't change the narrow band, the low bands. You have your repeaters, one through eight. These are shared with the FRS. And starting here, you can input ones that you might want to monitor, like say, the national calling frequency. And you don't get a lot of characters to put in here. And say there's a repeater that you also like to monitor. Mind you, you're not going to be able to transmit off of this. Now, if you want to change your transmit or receive PL tones, you can do that here. It's not going to give yourself the, they call them privacy, but you're not really getting any privacy. It just means people aren't going to be able to interrupt you if that's what you guys are using. But they'll still be able to hear you. And they're set to wide. Everything that is basic GMRS gets the high power. Your VFOA gives you some information. You can change your frequency step. You can change your direction for things if you want to do that. If you have to put in a repeater, same with the VFOB. Channel edit, you can come in here to edit a specific channel. General settings, you can change your welcome message. Put in my GMRS call sign. Change your timeout timer. We'll do 120 seconds. Squelch level at three is fine. Now, once you've got everything done that you want done and you're satisfied with it, you can go ahead over to the right hand button and go ahead and write it to the radio. And that's all there is to it. Now let's go back to the radio and see if we got those two frequencies to show up that we put in for the National Calling and Clara Repeater. Okay, now let's see if it worked with the channels we just put in there. Yep, we we're getting the Clara. They're doing a trivia net right now. And National Call, that one's in there as well. You can only listen on these, you cannot transmit. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.